Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is Kateo Malela. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I always say thank you for choosing me over and over again. And man, I am I glad to have you here today. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that I talk about finances here and there in my vlogs. I've recently started talking about it regularly and I am so glad that this opportunity came at the absolute perfect time because not only are we in mental health awareness month but for me personally finances impact my mental health tremendously so we're going to be talking about finances financial growth financial well-being and yes this video is going to be sponsored by okta hey thank you so much to okta for sponsoring this video before i get into that i want to get started with you about some of my biggest financial mistakes how i started spotting them what i started doing in terms of increasing my financial growth well-being and also incorporating okta into the mix so if you are wanting to see this video it might help you it might help you. It might go a long way, sis, okay? So if you want to see this video, please do keep watching. As I said, this video comes at the most opportune time for me because mental health is largely, my mental health particularly, is largely based on my financial well-being as well. So if I feel like I'm not in the best financial space, my mental health is going to suffer. And there's many studies that have been proven about how uh, financial trauma largely impacts the mental health of so many people. And coming out of COVID and coming out of all that has happened in the last three years, so many of us have found ourselves in situations where our finances were tested. Okay, they were tested. We found ourselves having to dip into our savings. We found ourselves having to struggle a little bit with our budgets. And also, more importantly, we found ourselves having to find different streams of income so that we could make ourselves financially grow, uh, build our financial wealth, uh, build our financial well-being. So this video is really important to me because as you know, I take my finances very, very seriously. So thank you so much to Okta for sponsoring this video. Now, we all know Okta and if you don't, I really would love you to just let me, yeah, let me, yeah, yeah. So I started doing a lot of work and a lot of research with Okta and on Okta for a little bit now. And I did not speak on it because I wanted to try it out myself. Now, if you do not know Okta, Okta is a trading company that was established in 2011. And for those who know Okta, they think, oh, Okta, yes, they um, specialize in Forex trading. It's not just Forex trading. It's a lot more than that. They specialize in investing in stocks, in assets, and trading in the economic market. So if you think about it, I was just like, okay, wait, wait, trading, I'm scared. I don't know, wait, why? And then I thought to myself, why am I scared? And it comes a lot with the fact that we don't know what trading involves and what it entails. But then you have platforms like Okta that give you necessary information where you can learn. They give you webinars, they give you tools, they give you articles that are available on the site where you can actually teach yourself the how to trade and how to invest in cryptocurrency. I'm sure all of you know a little bit about cryptocurrency, right? These are great ways in which you can not only one, develop a stream of income, but also at the same time, you can develop a way in which you can invest your money and make it grow. So the platform of Okta has open, transparent and reliable trading opportunities in which you feel safe enough to be able to trade or to invest your money to grow your financial independence. And this, this platform provides a reliable, open and transparent space where you can learn, not only learn about cryptocurrency and trading, but you can educate yourself with webinars, but 
also grow your financial independence. Everything that is worth having comes with a lot of learning. So if you're not prepared to learn, girl, why? But at the same time, to learn something is to increase your growth and your knowledge about it. And when you know more about it, you will actually see that there are so many people in over 180 countries that actually work and trade on um, Okta. So I really would love you to actually give it a look and a try because I've been doing it and I've been doing it for quite a while now and I'm really, really excited at what I am learning and what I am uh, getting to know when it comes to my financial growth and my financial independence. It just depends on you whether you want the return on your investment in a shorter period of time or whether you want it in a longer period of time. So I started learning about this and I, 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 was, I was nervous about it, of course, but I found myself so intrigued and encapsulated by the world of trading also trading in stocks and assets, not only just Forex trading, it's trading in cryptocurrency as well. And I thought to myself, well, if this is an opportunity for me to grow my financial wealth and to grow my financial well-being and also to just grow my financial capital, then it's definitely something I am going to look into. So if you are interested, click on the link in the description box below and use my promo code, which is Gatleo, so that you can double your deposit. It's really, really great. It's a great opportunity where you can invest, grow yourself, put some money away, put some money away for a rainy day, invest some money as well, and learn a lot more about the world of trading. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, what is financial growth, right? What is financial well-being? Here we go. This is what it is. Financial well-being essentially looks at being financially literate, being apt when it comes to finances. So knowing the pros, knowing the cons of you and your finances, your money. So we're talking about money. What are your assets? What are your um, liabilities, what are all those kinds of things when it comes to your finances. So for me, it's really important to be aware of my financial literacy, but also to find different ways in which I can make income so that I can grow my financial wealth, but also be able to invest at the same time. So financial well-being for me is largely tied into the life that I want to create for myself. And if comes the opportunity where I can learn something new that might help me grow my financial wealth and grow my financial uh, 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 capacity, I'm going to look into it. But I want to get into the financial mistakes that I did. Oh man, in my 20s, listen, let, let me tell you, in my 20s, I got into so many financial mishaps. I made so many difficult and really just unsound and uneducated decisions when it comes to my finances that I realized that this wasn't necessary. This was not, no, I shouldn't have done this. And because of that, I felt the effects. So for many of us, making financial mistakes often includes things like spending more than you earn. For me, Every time I got my paycheck, okay? Every time I got my paycheck, I thought to myself, well, I deserve this. I worked really hard for this and I ended up buying myself all sorts of things that I did not need. I'm very tech savvy, so I really like things that are tech related. So I loved cameras. I love all of these techie gadgets, phones, laptops, um, all these devices. And because of that, I ended up getting things that I really did not need in that time because I thought to myself, well, I work and I deserve it. But did I really need it? No. And another financial mistake that I did was not investing early enough. And I feel like this is really poignant because not investing essentially means that, you know, I didn't invest because I didn't know. I didn't know more about investing. I did not know what to invest in. I did not know about, you know, the socioeconomic status in terms of investments and money and all of that. 
So I didn't invest. And for many of us, we do not want to get into something we do not know. There's a big fear. There's a big, big fear of the unknown when it comes to money. We sort of want to hold on to it. We want to grab onto it. Whereas sometimes a lot of the time you have to spend money in order to make money. So I did not invest um, at that time when it was the absolute opportune time because I was doing so well, work was doing great, um, life was just doing great and there was really no need to waste all my money and all the, 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 the capital that I had acquired on just really unnecessary things, whereas I could have just invested it. I could have just invested it. Another big financial mistake that I did was buying a car when I did not need to. This is really, really important because at the time I already had two cars and I thought to myself, well, I mean, I'm deserving and my birthday is coming up and I'm going to buy myself a car. Did I think it through? No. I did. I just want to be in a place where I can own one of, you know, the biggest, you know, a luxury German sedan car. Of course I did. But did I really need it? Absolutely not. And I feel like that was one of the biggest financial mistakes that I did for myself because it really wasn't necessary. I could have taken that money and invested it into something that could have grown over time, invested it into stocks or assets. I could have done anything else rather than invest money or put money rather into something that was going to depreciate. Whereas I could have put money into something that was going to appreciate over time. So there's so many financial mistakes. I think about moments where I would pick up a credit card. I already had a credit card. Did I need a second one? Absolutely not. Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. Why? Who knows? Having this access to this little rectangular thing that gives you so much opportunity to spend money you do not have. And I learned that the hard way. Oh man, I absolutely learned that the hard way. And it only came with age where I started um, speaking to people from different places about investments, having a financial advisor, that kind of thing, uh, where I started taking my money more seriously, where I started thinking about having safety nets for rainy days, where I started thinking about budgeting my money because life is long. Okay, life is long and things happen, situations change, socioeconomic statuses change of the country, of your career, of your life, and you might find yourself having to do what a lot of us have ended up doing now, which is investing in streams of income. This is where Okta comes into play. So essentially there's really limitless opportunities on this app and also on the website. It is really up to you. All you need to do is set up your account, which I'll show you here, which is something that I have done, been doing it. You need to just set up your account and you're well on your way. So learning more about something does not necessarily mean you are not going to excel at it. The whole point of it is to learn and want to grow and know more about it. So Forex, cryptocurrency, anything, stocks and assets. You know, we, we grew up seeing things like NASDAQ and thinking, what, what is that? Octa got you covered. So what I want to do is encourage you to actually try. It sounds daunting in the beginning. It sounds like frightening, like, okay, I don't know. But honestly, when you know more, you do better. And for me, because I've read up on it, I've looked at webinars, attended webinars, and did all the wonderful things that are available to you on the it app. It's really great to feel a lot more secured that not only is there transparency, not only is there safety with your information, but also at the same time, you get to learn and double your streams of income as well. So if you're, you're keen on this, if you're keen on this, well done. It's, a, it's well done. Great. It's a good thing that you are. That we heard, but listen, let me tell you, when you know more, you do more and you do better. So 
definitely give it a try. If you're interested in it, I would love to know. If you've tried it before, I would love to know. Thank you so much to Okta for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate being given the opportunity to actually even learn something new. But I'd like to also know what your financial mistakes were or what your financial streams of income are. Let us know down below. Let's talk about finances. Let's not stigmatize talking about money or learning about ways in which we can make money as well. So, so double your streams of income. At this point in time, it is really, really important to look into that because so much of us and so many of us in the world right now have really felt the effects of what has happened in the last couple of years. So if you're looking to doing that, give it a try. Click the link in my description box, use my promo code, which is Gatleo, and get into the world of Okta. Get into the world of trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, if you'd like to know more, please put your questions down below. Also head on over to my Instagram, which is Gatleo Malela as well, where I will have more content with Okta to help you get started. So thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you like the video, click subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, sayonara.